um, how was your first week at your job? Like what you have done, how nervous you were and what was the outcome after the first week? Of course. So I feel like it's very, um, admittedly, I was very, very nervous because let's be honest, just beyond your own technical skills, there is just so much that is within a professional job and um, the entire exposure and system that jobs and these environments and work setups have is very, very different. So I was very nervous and really the first week at my job entailed just setting things up and meeting my team members and um, working with people. So really it was about signing up, setting up your access to your different accounts, setting up your access to your profiles and user access, and a lot of having one-on-ones with all your team members and a lot of introductory calls. Additionally, um, everything is provided to you. In the first week, I would suggest be proactive and ask for the resources and ask for the knowledge. Because, you know, of course you're joining and everyone's happy to have you, but people are still in the middle of work and everyone's very busy. They're going to follow through with the formalities. You're going to have HR meetings. You're going to have HR introductions. They're going to do the basic things like um, give you a tour of all the tech stack and all the tools that we are using and how the system works. But if you really want to optimize your first few uh, weeks and all the tools that we are using and how the system um, and if you're really trying to optimize your first few weeks, which now is the best time to, you know, take your time with learning and ask for these things, because later on, you'll suddenly be bombarded with work and no one will expect you to be a slow learner anymore. Now is the time in your first few weeks to be proactive. So later on, um, your work gets easier. Now is when you ask for, hey, can I read some documentations? Or, hey, what is our... Um, environment like? What kind of processes do we use to set up our deployments? Because I learned that every company, organization, and engineering team have their own standards and rules and policies and ways of doing things. And they don't like it when people do it a different way. They like to keep that consistency. Ask about those things, learn about those things. Um, since I'm in cloud, I asked, okay, can you give me a walkthrough of all the cloud tools we're using? How is our cloud posture? What kind of cloud security practices we have? What kind of cloud providers do we use? What kind of, how many accounts do we have in each? This not only shows how proactive you are and already gives you a very good start in your first few weeks, but also you will realize it is necessary. It is so important that you take your first few weeks to first understand the environment you're working in, both technically and the team you're working with, because that will make your work easier later. You don't want to get too slow in the beginning, or you don't want to just work with whatever they give you, and then later on you have limited knowledge. You want, now is the best time um, to be curious. It's okay to fail at this time. It's okay to not know things. Now is the time when you ask, when you verify, when you try and test out. Now there is grace. But later on, people would expect you to know things and be on par. So for me, yes, it was very nerve wracking. I was nervous. I didn't know as much. Um, but I also recognize that no one is expecting me to know anything. No one is expecting you to know everything. The best way to use your first few weeks is to be very curious and you're not assigned work right away. They know you just got on board. So use your free time at work, your um, daily eight hours to just catch up, learn about everything, which only will make your work easier later. Well, thank you so much.